this time on Lash and Lace. Hi guys! Hi! So we're back and we are going to do a beauty balm review for you. And you want me to start? Yeah, go first. Alright, I'm going to start with my least favorite to be honest. Um, and my least favorite, I kind of feel really bad about saying this because I love the line. It's Jane Iredale. Um, it's their Glow Time Full Coverage Mineral Beauty Balm Cream. Now the Jane Iredale, it is an SPF 25, but it is a mineral um, beauty balm, which I think is one of the reasons why I don't like it. Even though I have oily skin, mineral makeup shifts around my face very easily. And here, I'll do a swatch for you. It's very orange tinted. Um, I have I have the Beauty Balm 5 shade, and they, they have six shades total. This is one of the middle shades, I believe, which I'm too pale <laughs> for a middle shade. At least right now. Yeah. So, because I had this in the summer, so I'm just going to swatch it, but it's actually very, very orange. Yeah, it is. And really so, orange. especially if you have a skin tone that is, I mean, that look at that. It looks pale on my skin, but when I look at it here, it really doesn't. It's very cakey, and it gets just... It looks it, really thick. Yeah, and it's thick, but it's not full coverage. Like, it doesn't stay on my acne. So, um, not a big fan. It's $48, though, for this size, which is um, 1.7 fluid ounces. So, it's a pretty expensive beauty balm. Yeah. Um, I like their powders, but I don't like their beauty balm. So, would not recommend this. <laughs> On to mine. Okay, I'm going to put... This is the one that I wore all um, last summer. It is my Boshia BB cream here. Cute, right? I know. I, love it. I think it's like a Japanese brand or something. Um, and it has SPF 27 in it. So that is great during the summertime because I'm out in the sun every day. And it is only $38 for 1.75. So I mean, 38 is expensive, but this lasted me an entire summer now. But let me show you. It's actually a really dark color. I'm really pale right now. So this worked for me. It actually... I don't know if it's been sitting a long time, but it has a really weird consistency that it did not have. But let me see. So there you go. It's kind of like orangey, yellowy. I don't know. It looks really dark to me. Like you can see that on my hand. Like you can see here up here where it's dried already. Like that's where I tried to get the lid off. Yeah. So it's a really orangey dark one. If you have dark skin, then it actually worked for me really well. And it actually has like sparkly like shimmery stuff in it which I don't know it's kind of nice if you like that I don't know and it, it's kind of thin coverage so I always kind of felt like I had to put a powder on afterward bad so that's the Boshio one right there so right, then so for you I will jump into my next one which is Dr. <laughs> Dart Beauty Balm Water Fuse now um I do like this one although it does have some things that bug me about it a little bit. Um, it is an SPF 25 though, which is great. And the thing is, it's $34 for the size, sorry. Um, it has a very wet feeling obviously, cause it's water fuse and it's very moisturizing, which is good, but I have oily skin. So I only use it, I can't use it a lot, I feel like, or for yeah. long periods of time. It can't be on my skin for too long. I can only wear it for maybe a couple hours at a time because then my skin gets very oily. So here, I'll do a swatch for you. It's kind of odd how it works to me as I put a huge swatch on. I know, I put a huge one on too last um, time. So when you first are working it in, if you can see that, it's very, um, you know, you do it because it's kind of, it's very wet when you put it on. It's very slick. I don't yeah. think you guys can see like how slick that is. I mean, it's, yeah. it's like you almost work the water out of it before you can really blend it into your skin. So you really have to kind of work it into your skin to give you that coverage I guess and it's a nice medium to light coverage I would say it's not too heavy yeah. which is what I like about it but it's moisturizing so if you have dry skin I would definitely recommend going and trying that out because I think it is moisturizing and although it starts off wet it does dry not too sticky yeah. it blended in pretty well yeah. to her skin too so it blends like really nicely I mean you yeah. can still see it but it, it blends well so I like it um it isn't more expensive one it's, it's nice I like it and it's got an SPF 25 although it does like most um a few beauty balms it does have kind of odd coloring and it only comes in one shade unfortunately but then on to mine okay so it's a little sample thing because we got it from Sephora <laughs> so you probably have no idea what this is but um, it is Too Faced, the Beauty, Blanc, Beauty Balm, sorry. And it comes in a few different shades. I think six shades, and it is SPF 20. So it's not as high as the Boshia one that I did. But SPF 20 is better than nothing, which is what your normal foundation gives you. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely something. And it's $34 for a 1.5 ounce, which 
This is 1.75 if that helps you. It's not the same product, but it's about that size. And so let me show you. This one is the um, Cream Glow. I think it's like maybe the, the shade. Middle. It's somewhere in the middle. Yeah. It's so this is the Cream Glow shade. And you can see on my finger here, it's a little darker right there. So let me just rub it in. And I really like this one. It um it definitely has an orangey tint to it. I feel like it kind of gives you a tanner look. But it blends in really nicely. Like, I don't even know if you can see that a little bit. But it doesn't, it, it's a really, like, it gives you a really soft finish afterwards. There is a little bit of, I don't like, like, this is how, I don't know what it actually is, but this is what I call it, like, the stickiness. Mm -hmm. Like, afterwards, like, it doesn't, it like gives a you a little bit of it, but, so you know it's moisturizing, but it's not too bad. And it literally is just blended right into my hand. I don't even think I can see it anymore. So it definitely blends in really well. And the good thing is it has six different shades so you can get whatever color you need to match your skin. So yeah, I really liked the Too Faced one. That one was probably one of my favorite of the ones that I've tried recently. So yeah, yeah. that one was good. So yeah, that was my Too Faced Beauty Balm. <laughs> All right, so my next one, probably a lot of you know it. Um, it's harder to get it in the U.S., Although you can order it online. Um, it's so messy. Okay, sorry about my cap. It's so disgusting. It is the Misha um, M Perfect Cover Beauty Balm. And this is in the shade number 21. They, I know they make five colors. This is the second to lightest color. Um, it's very moisturizing. And it does have kind of a gray color to it, which I know is kind of weird. But I actually, somehow it works on my skin. It blends into my skin tone. It kind of almost counter acts the redness in my skin okay. so um if that helps I mean it does have a very gray tint to it which is yeah, odd for for a foundation um it does very only gray. come in one color and I would definitely say it's a light but it's a buildable coverage um it's moisturizing but it'll dry so your skin doesn't get as oily um I can use it on my oily skin and I really like it it doesn't shift around too much and it just kind of sinks into your skin um, it's twenty nine ninety nine for oh, this size, which is I can't read. It's all this. in another language. Yeah, like look, see, it's it's. I don't even. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> but it is SPF well, it's like one and a half maybe yeah. or something. I don't know. It's <laughs> SPF forty two though, which is amazing because that is some high SPF in there. Yeah, that is. And since it is a, um, I think it's it's, it's Japanese or Chinese. I don't know. Hold on, cut. So it's like an Asian, oh wait, it's Asian brand. I don't know. Yeah. So since it is, though, it does have a lot of the more, okay, hold on, cut. Start mm -hmm. over. Okay. Um, it does have a lot of the Beauty Balm quality, so it does have the lightning ingredients in it, and um, so it does take care of all that. It does the acne, the lightening, it is a real Beauty Balm, true to the form, treatment Beauty Balm. So it does have all of that, um, and I really like it, and sometimes people don't like the pump, but I like it, so it keeps your makeup sanitary, unless you don't keep the cap clean, which I don't. But, um, yeah, Until I really recommend used it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I really like this. I got this in a glossy box, so I really love it. Um, I recommend going try this out, but I would say you definitely have to have a lighter skin tone, because they don't get too dark, and it's kind of off-putting on the coloring scale. It's kind of odd, but it does work. Yeah. So check it out. Cool. That Sorry. one is really interesting. I've never, like, seen one with the gray coloring like that. Yeah, it's kind of uh -huh. odd, but I like it. Yeah, it is. It yeah. works. It, like, blended in, so, mm -hmm. yeah. Crazy what makeup does sometimes, right? Okay, so, um, my third and last one that I have is my Dr. Jart, uh, Black Label Detox BB Cream, and if you saw my, um, February Birch Box, you know I got this in there, and it is so cute. It's a little size, I don't even know. It's like 0.1 fluid ounce on here, which is adorable. So that is my Black Label Detox. Um, it is, there's actually two sizes, which is nice if you want to just have it, like, try it out for a little bit, because this is kind of small to try it out for a while. So yeah. um, this is 0.66 ounces for $18 and 1.5 ounces for $36. So it's pretty, I mean, it's kind of in the middle. It depends. This stuff lasts you a long time, like I've noticed with a lot of BB creams. It'll last you forever. Like, I used this for the whole entire summer, and it's huge. So, mm -hmm. it's a pretty, mo it's somewhat inexpensive. I don't know. And this one has SPF 25 in it, so it has really good coverage, but it only comes in one shade. So, if the shade doesn't really work for you, then. Here, I'll show you, because I got a sample of this. Yeah. So, because I wanted to try it. 
and I'm just going to show you like it in the pot, I guess, so you can see the color really of it. Yeah. Um, it's kind of for more people with like more of a, um, let me see. Squeeze it, it is out. supposed to, it's supposed to do a blending thing, but, um, I feel it is yeah. naturally darker though. It is. It is. I so feel like you I'm need thinking a it's going to be a little too tan. dark for me right now. I'm going to wait until summer. See, this is it. But here. it is supposed to be unisex. It's supposed to be good for guys and girls, which that. is kind of odd, but it's yeah. supposed to be unisex. Yeah. So it's a little dark when you first put it on, but this one has a really nice smooth finish to it. Like I feel like it doesn't have the sticky quality that I was talking about on the other one. Mm -hmm. It's very like... It's got a great yeah. coverage to it too. It does. It really blends. Like I know it's hard to tell because on your hand it... Your hand looks flawless. Yeah, I know. So it's hard to tell, but that one is seriously, it blends so nicely. It has great coverage to it. It has really mm -hmm. thick coverage, but it doesn't feel thick on your face. And yeah. it doesn't feel like you have like... Moi like I hate when you feel like you have that stickiness on your face. It's not sticky and it covers very nicely. I really like that product. This product, like you can't feel it on your skin. No, kind of it, it kind of just goes there, and it it has good coverage. You wouldn't even note. It, you can't see it on your face. Like it just it doesn't cake, but it yeah, covers. It yeah, so yeah, it's nice. It is really good. This is probably the favorite of the three that I've tried. Definitely the black mm -hmm. label detox there. Yeah. So. I had to pick one. So, yeah, that's my third one. And okay, so my favorite, which is really sad. I don't have it in a full-size tube, but I had it in a full-size tube, and I returned it because the shade... Okay, this one <laughs> this one has a little bit of a story. Her skin it is has, really picky, I feel. It is. She always has trouble matching it. Like Because yeah. I have really pale skin, and everyone always is like, let me warm up your skin yeah. tone with a darker shade. I'm like, no, 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 no. You're like, no, but I need to you, match. <laughs> you need, you need, I need it to not match, and my skin... It gets very orangey very easily. And so a lot of people try to do that, though, because I do have an olive base under my skin tone. But I'm pale. So I think people think, oh, well, we'll just stick her in, like, the orange category. It doesn't work. <laughs> so doesn't work. Yeah. So I literally came into Sephora still with no makeup on. And it was like, match me. Still didn't get it right. Okay? So, but I came back, and I got a shade lighter of the one that they had tried to sell me on. And it matched. So, um, so okay, you so know yourself. Best. I know my skin better. You do, yeah. So this is the Tarte um, Beauty Balm Tinted Primer. It is their new. It's only been out, I think, for like a month and a half now. It is thirty four dollars for, um, I think, one ounce. Here's what it looks like just in the tube. This is the shade light, or no, fair. Pardon me. Sorry, fair. Because I was actually in the shade light. He tried to get me okay because there's fair, light, medium, and I think dark. And they tried to get me in medium first, and we were both, me and my mom were like, no, 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 that's no, crazy. too dark. That's crazy. That's like me got, when I'm tan. Yeah, like, that's the that's third insane. darkest yeah. color, and I'm paler, I don't know, I'm as pale <laughs> as She's just not cloud. medium right now. No. no, and so, and then they tried to put me in light, and I thought in the store the lighting it looked like it was, but then I tried the Tricky fair, lighting. and the fair, I know this probably does look a shade lighter than my skin tone, but it actually blends beautifully. And what I love about this is that it does give a matte satin finish. It gives you that primer feel, um, which I know some people probably wouldn't like, but I like that because I have oily skin. So here's what it looks like. I'm just going to rub it out. And it just feels like silk on your skin, and it blends beautifully. I definitely would say it's a lighter coverage, um, buildable. If you have really good skin, I don't at the moment, but if you have really good skin, this would be a good thing just to kind of cover up maybe some like discoloration. Yeah. But you don't have to put it all over your face. You could blend it just in the spots you need it. And people want it. It wouldn't look splotchy, I don't think. And um, this has an SPF 30 in it. And it's $34 for this. And the fortunate thing is, though, it does come in four shades. And be careful when you match because it does get very orangey in the middle. <laughs> Sorry, by the way, also that these are all, all of them are expensive beauty balms. We did try the Garnier beauty balm. Yeah. We tried a sample of it. And we just didn't like it. We didn't even want to mention it. So anyways, those yeah. are our favorite beauty balms. So hopefully you guys liked it. Um, and if you want to go buy them, I will put the Sephora links to them down below. Yeah. Um, and check them out. So yeah. comment and subscribe and let us yeah. know what you guys think and what you want to see from us in the future. Yeah, tell us your favorite BB cream below yeah. too. Let us know what you think of our products. And if you have a new one, I, we want to try them out and yeah. see what we think. So yeah. Let Just us know. Let us know what you guys, what you know works for you. So yeah, yeah. we'd love to try them out too. Definitely. All right. So we will right. see you guys later. Yeah. See you later. Bye, Bye. guys.